Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a full backdrop transformation. So we are gonna go from drab to fab in today's video. So if you are new to my channel, you might not have seen this backdrop. So this is my new backdrop. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my old backdrop and I'm basically just gonna be going full step by step how I created this. I did kind of do this on a budget. I haven't spent a crazy amount and it literally took me like a couple of hours to do this. And I'm also gonna be showing you some of my storage ideas and kind of how I'm storing my makeup and stuff like that in this vanity. This was a desk previously, so it actually had my boyfriend's work computer on it. But I was like, sorry, hun, um, my makeup station is more important. So that's been moved now. <laughs> um, and this is my new setup for obviously filming and glamming up. Um, so I'm absolutely in love with this new setup. I think it's just so, so fabulous. Also, just before we get into today's video, I just want to give a massive shout out to Jelly Garms for sending me this stunning Chanel bootleg jumper. I'm absolutely in love with it. Obviously this is in it like a really nice baby pink color. Um, they have loads of different colors and different logos. So I'm absolutely in love with this jumper. So that is Jelly Garms over on Instagram. I'll pop all of their details on screen now. They do also have a website. I also wanna give a massive shout out to Rackstar Nails on Instagram for providing me with these stunning Chanel inspired baby pink nails. If you have watched my channel for a little while, you will know that I work on a long-term basis with her. So this isn't sponsored, but these nails are gifted. I absolutely love her nails. They are such good quality, really, really good price. And whilst we're all in lockdown, obviously you can't get yourself to a nail salon. So she can create you any custom design that you want and she will ship those out to you. Her nails are really, really, really affordable. They are much cheaper than going to a salon and having them done professionally. And the quality on them is so stunning. These nails are also reusable, so as long as you apply them and remove them correctly, you can reuse these nails multiple times. So they are a complete bargain, and like I said, you can get them customized completely how you want. So go and check out Rackstar Nails over on Instagram, because her work is honestly insane. So the video is gonna switch now to basically me vlogging and kind of putting everything together. So you're gonna go and watch that now. Okay, so as you can see, this is the before. So I've just taken absolutely everything off of my desk, which is what I use for myself. Why is it going blurry? Okay, you guys, so this is the before of my backdrop. So it is completely bare other than those cables. And then I've also emptied out these drawers. So I'm gonna be filling these with makeup and stuff. So all of these drawers on this side are now empty. So. They are gonna get filled, which I will show you. Um, but yeah, all of this has been emptied off. I will throw a few pictures on screen now of how my backdrop looked before. Okay, so we are gonna start off with these mesh kind of like leafy panel things. So they're like this on the back so that you can like hook them up or like attach them to your wall. And then they're like this thick kind of foliage. So when I measured up for what I need, um, I thought, okay, I don't actually need it to go the whole way along, because I've got something obviously going in the middle. So I'm gonna cut this middle one in half, and then attach it to the ends of these, and then hang these up on the wall using hooks, um, which I will try and show you as best I can. But these were so, so good. They were literally like, I think they were like 11 or 12 pound on eBay. Um, and they're really good quality actually. Like I think they look quite realistic. So hopefully they're gonna have the desired effect. So let's get on and put those up. Okay, so I have now attached these together. So basically what I did was I just cut one of the panels in half and then on both of these we have now attached them together. So I just flipped this one over to show you. But as you can see here, I've just wired these together now. So it basically made two really big panels rather than three separate ones. You'll see why in the finished result, but yeah, so that's basically what I've done. So now we're gonna try and attach these to the wall, so wish me luck. Okay, so we've just put up the foliage. So like I said, I did attach 
um, the cut up pieces together. So basically we had three before, I cut one of them in half and then attached it to the other two. So we have now got two big panels. I have got something going in the middle here where the gap is, so you will see that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with this actually. It's gone up really, really easily. So all we did was screw a couple of hooks up into the wall. Um, and because it's at a slant, it meant that these kind of wanted to hang kind of weird. So we've just popped some styrofoam behind just to keep it propped out so that it looks nice and full. But I think this is gonna look super effective when it's all done. Welcome back. So that was me just vlogging, kind of putting some stuff together. Obviously that wasn't the final result. Um, that was just so that you could kind of see some of the DIY aspects. So now I'm gonna give you a little tour of my new vanity filming area and just give you like a full breakdown of where everything is from and all of the prices. Okay, so this is a bit weird for me because I'm not like normally like a vlog kind of person. So yeah, basically I'm gonna show you around my entire setup. Um, I'm gonna tell you where everything is from and kind of just give you a little bit more of a detailed look at my new vanity slash backdrop area. Please ignore any mess that is being reflected by the mirror. Um, we're just not gonna look at that, okay? So this is my finished backdrop vanity area. Okay, so here is just a little look at my setup. So this Hollywood mirror is obviously like my centerpiece. This was actually from Amazon and it was only £180, which is really, really good price for a Hollywood mirror, um, especially for one of this size because it is quite substantial. This desk is massive just for reference. So this isn't like a normal size desk. This is a huge desk. So this is actually a really, really good size mirror. So it was only £180 on Amazon. It's got all these LED lights the whole way around. And what I love is that they're actually built in into the glass rather than on a frame which I think is like so much more modern another really nice thing about this mirror is that it does actually have adjustable lights okay so it's got a neutral setting a warm setting and a cool setting another great thing about this mirror is that it is all touch screen down there so you literally just press what you want on the screen which is amazing something else I love about this is it actually has got a little port for an iPhone charger and then I've just stuck this little charger holder here so I've actually got an iPhone iPhone cable there for when I'm getting ready which I think is so so helpful okay so now moving on to the paneling at the back so this is actually from eBay I bought three panels in total and I cut one of them in half and then attached them together so there is actually a small gap in the middle of the mirror for all the wires to come through um, but basically I made two massive panels out of three smaller panels each panel was about 12 pound on eBay I will have everything linked down below in the description box but yeah I think these panels are actually such good value for money so you can't see through them at all they are nice thick dense foliage obviously they're plastic they're not real um, but yeah I'm really really happy with the effect of them I think it just gives like a really expensive look to the whole kind of set up so I'm really really happy with those okay so moving on to this little area here so I've got my makeup brushes in two separate little parts this little part here is basically just ones that need to be rinsed so if I've used like an eyeshadow that has like a really bright pigment on it obviously I want to wash that before I use it again because I might not want to use hot pink so this is basically just ones that need to be washed and then that's like my ones that are good to go for next time here I just have some plants from Ikea and then there's another little one down there. So I just have these kind of coming over so that it matches my theme when I'm filming. Then I just have this little diffuser here which is from Aldi and then if we come under here, so these are actually jewellery organisers and I picked these ones up on Amazon, I'll have them linked below. I think they were about £17 each, which I thought was a really good price, but I'm not actually using them to organise jewellery. I actually use these to organise eyelashes in one and then nails in the other one. So these are literally just jewellery organisers for like earrings and stuff and they're this really nice felt material. So whenever I open a new pair of lashes, I don't want to put them back in the box after I've used them. So once I've taken them off and cleaned them, I just pop them in here and then on one of these little sticky notes, I'll just write what kind of lash they are. So that if I'm like, oh, I really like these, I need to buy a new pair, I know which ones they are for next time. But I just thought those were absolutely it's so cute. So they're in this like really nice velvety gray material. They did have loads of different colors of these if you have a look on Amazon. And then like I said, this one has got nails in. So this is just the bag from the nails that I'm wearing today, which are actually my full if it's going to show you there you go so 
This is actually just the bag from the ones that I'm wearing today, which is my full baby pink set of Chanel nails from Rackstar Nails. I had these custom designed and gifted to me to match my cute little jumper. So I actually had these custom nails made by Rackstar Nails and gifted to me um, to match my Chanel jumper, which is from Jelly Garms, both over on Instagram. I will pop all of the details on screen now and also in the description box down below. But yeah, so basically I just have one for my nail sets and then I have one for lashes. Like I said, they did have loads of different colors of these as well. So whatever kind of situation you have going on, you'll be able to find some that match. And I just thought it was such a good idea to be able to store all your different lashes and bits and like kind of small things Just so that you're actually able to see like all of the different ones you've got I am also going to show you in my drawers where my makeup is because I've got so much lashes Which doesn't make any sense I've got so much lashes, got so much lashes. Got so much lashes. Bare lashes, mate. And then I just pop all of that back over there like that when I'm finished with it, just so that it kind of ties in a little bit better. Just move that out of the way. We're just going to ignore that. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've got all these like cute little brushes and stuff. And then I also have this cute little star here, which one of my best friends gave to me for my 21st birthday, which was recently. Um, I just think it's such a cute little message to have on your vanity just whilst you're getting ready. Um, I just think that's like such a nice little quote. So massive thank you to her for giving me that for my birthday. That has a proud little place on my vanity just there. Okay, so moving over to the other side of my vanity, I have got just this cute little plant area and this sign. So this is obviously all from my previous backdrop. Um, so this little light up box is actually from B&M. And then I also have this little box here, which is just a little gray velvet box. It's actually a jewelry box, but there's nothing in it, which I use as a little stand for that light then I also have these cute little plants which are all from B&M and once again the same panelling on this side as on the other side because it does run the whole way back okay so moving on to my chair this is just an office chair from Ikea it's super comfortable and then I just threw this little sheepskin rug also from Ikea over the top of it just so that it's nice and cozy Moving on to my drawers. So basically these were just full of paperwork and stuff like that and I've emptied them out on this side and just started to fill them with my makeup. So I thought I would just give you a quick look. So obviously it's not perfect, but I just thought I'd show you how I'm kind of organizing it. So in this little tub here, I've got all my lip stuff. This tub is all my brows and eyes. Over here, I've got powders and bronzers. This is blushes, highlighters, and foundations and primers are in that one there. Dropping down to the next drawer, I've got all of my lashes. So these are all my dull lashes, which are still in the box. So they're basically like new pairs that I've not opened yet. Um, like I said, whenever I open a pair, I actually put them up into this tub so that I know which ones I've opened and which ones I haven't. The main reason I kind of thought of doing that is so that if I've got a friend or something who needs a pair of lashes, they're probably not going to want to wear a pair of your used lashes. So at least I know that all these ones are brand new and fresh and then these ones are the ones that I've actually worn before. Then in this area, I've got all my fresh beauty sponges. So whenever I need to grab a new beauty sponge, they are all there. In this little pot just here, I keep my lash glue and then I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes I've actually got a few more on the way currently I've actually got loads of new makeup currently on its way so all of that is gonna have to fit in here somehow as well not really sure how that's gonna work but yeah these are currently the only eyeshadow palettes that I've got but like I said I've got a few more coming and then this is just a little set of tweezers and in here are my doll brushes which I haven't actually used yet this drawer is just full of tan basically anything that i would use to tan or prep for a tan is kept in this drawer so all my different tans are in the back there i've also got gloves mitts um exfoliators razors shaving gel talcum powder and some more tan so i actually didn't include this like tip in my tanning video if you haven't watched my tanning video i will link it above my head now um but when i tan once it's dried down i actually like to get a little bit of talcum powder on a powder brush and just go into all my creases so like on the inners of your elbows backs of your knees places like that just to take away any like residue or stickiness so that it's not uncomfortable like whilst you've got your tan on down here i actually have all my nail stuff so obviously i do sometimes make my own nails which are there and then i've got a few polishes i've got a lamp back there because i am going to do gel nails at some point but i just don't have any gel polish yet so i need to like do that at some point but basically anything i need to do nails is in there and like i said all of my full sets 
sets of nails are in here. So if I just need to get like a fresh set of nails, they are always going to be kept in there. So yeah, that is pretty much everything in my new vanity area. Like I said, I will link everything down in the description box below with all of the prices. Some of the stuff obviously I can't link, such as the items from B&M. You do have to just get those in store, unfortunately. But the things like the plant wall and the mirror and all that kind of stuff, I can link down below for you. Once again, I just want to say a massive thank you to Rackstar Nails for providing me with these absolutely Gorgeous nails. I mean, I'm sorry, but stunning. That is pretty much everything for today's video. I'm now going to leave you with the outro. So I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you did enjoy watching today's video, please don't forget to give me a massive like and subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please feel free to leave them all down below in the comment section for me. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram account. I'll pop all of the details on screen now and they will also be down in the description box below. And without further ado, I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.